So let's take a look at Play the Pipa in the Michuan system of the Yang style. Uh, Play the Pipa is, uh, let's see, we're, we're here, and is essentially stepping to the side, drag down, and then push. What's interesting though, is how we see it being expressed in a different way, in a different part of the form. So in the first one, we're here, step back, sit down, yank, push. And the interesting thing is that these two moves are essentially the same. They're just expressed in slightly different ways. So let's take a look at the application for play the pipa. Play the pipa, it's a punch coming roughly chest high, step, yank, and push, exactly. So the idea is, again, there's this, uh, this hand locking my hand, my punch against her chest, because this is what creates the joint lock that happens here. So notice it's the stepping and the hand that creates the joint lock because my hand is stuck to the chest. Now my, my um, arm is locked. So now this is the drag down and then the punch. So that's play the pipa. Um, again, there's always this yin component because if, if I were to just stand here and really resist, right, this doesn't really, really quite work, but the idea again is it's that sliding in using perfect, right? Using my momentum forward, moving around it, which is why it's a yin always in the beginning. It creates the lock and creates the opportunity. So that's, that's play the pipa. Very simple, three components. Sorry, one last time. Roll back, yank, punch, All right? So we see in this long, the vertical, vertical line. But if we take a look at the other one, We'll see that it's actually basically the same thing, but this time it's a punch towards the belly. So instead of to the chest, so if we do the other one, it's here, and then the hand slides in, yank down, and punch. So we see it's essentially the same thing, boom, boom. But here in the form, it essentially solves an issue with us, which is basically if there's a punch coming low and we deflect it, so the arm is now facing down and facing up. But now how do you get to the yank? How do you get control over my arm from here? So what you have to do is sneak that elbow in. Now you yank down and then you step and you push. But again, notice that it's exactly the same move. It's the same idea, but because we've changed the arm position from here to here, we have to solve different issues. Before we could just go, with play the pipa, here the arm is down. So now it starts, now it looks like this. And we've added this whole other thing in. Now the body's here, we turn, sit in the, in the waist in order to, to do this. So again, same thing. We always have to come back to, to push hands to kind of get the sense of how this comes out of, right? Because if we're, if we're pushing, right? Again, I don't know how my hands are gonna be. I don't know where the push is gonna come from. So if I'm here, or if I'm here sending a push, this hand, in order to deflect this, has to kind of drop down. There you go. See, now this, this is the problem. Like this is not a good position for push hands. But if we do the exact same thing and this time this hand drops, now this is a much stronger position and now you can do this. And then, so in the same way that in, within push hands, we see how the body has to move and you have to be in the correct position in order to deflect correctly. From those positions then come the solution. How do you continue and do the rest of the move? So we're, you, we're constantly adjusting which part of the body we're using in order to do the, the application. We're not locked. It's not saying, you know, single whip or, or play the pipa is only done like this. No, single whip is roll back, that yank, and then that push. So it's a whole, it belongs to a whole family of moves that are actually expressing the same qualities of energy but the expression of them is very different because it's arriving from a different angle or we're expressing, you know, either high energy, I mean, high in terms of location or, <laughs> or low uh, energy. So the body has to take a different shape to deal with these different angles, but the quality of energy is exactly the same. And that's the, that's the cool part. Okay. Thank you.